session of CBC grade 10 in one shot. And the poem that we are going to cover in one shot today is Dust of Snow. So guys, this is going to be really very helpful for the last minute preparation. So please stay tuned throughout the video till the end of the video. And let's begin with the beautiful poem, Dust of Snow, a very short poem, but with a very deep philosophical meaning. Okay, so this poem is, of course, by Robert Frost, who is very well, who is an American poet and a very well known um, poet, uh, known for his uh, rural description, re realistic rural uh, depiction, uh, I mean, rural uh, life, depictions of rural life. And uh, definitely the most uh, interesting part in his story is, sorry, in his poems, uh, that is uh, to examine complex social and philosophical theme. So this is what we will find common in each and every poem of uh, Robert Frost. So the poem that we are going to deal with today also contains a very deep philosophical theme. So let us now delve into the line by line explanation of the entire poem. After the poem's explanation, we will be talking about the question and answers along with the vocabulary and a part and the literary devices. So that will cover the entire poem in one shot. Okay? So, stanza one. The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. Now you see over here the poem begins in a gloomy atmosphere. Why? Crow and hemlock tree. Crow is usually considered as a bird which is very ugly which is which brings an ill omen so this crow is actually considered usually as inauspicious so definitely here it is portrayed as a negative symbol which manifests which of course is portraying the gloomy atmosphere or it begins with a gloomy atmosphere this is manifesting the poets uh, depressed mind okay or you can say sorrowful uh, state of mind okay also hemlock tree which is a poisonous plant hemlock tree is a poisonous plant with white flowers okay so uh, the symbols used in the very beginning of the poem is these are the negative symbols okay so uh, yes so we can definitely say that the poet is in a depressive and sorrowful mood as represented by the crow and the hemlock tree okay now what is the crow doing it is sitting on the branch of this hemlock tree and shaking down on the poet the dust of snow dust of snow are small particles of snow okay so let us see what happens in the next stanza all right Next stanza says, has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had rude. Rude meaning regretted. Now this action of the crow shaking down the dust of snow on the poet, okay, is causing a change of heart, a change of mood from negative to positive. Okay. So here, the crow, which was so long considered as an inauspicious, as a negative symbol, changes to something which brings about a positive change, right? So positive, the symbol, uh, you know, crow and hemlock tree, which was in the, uh, which which was both of uh, both of these symbols, the crow and the negative, uh, sorry, and the, uh, you know, hemlock tree were negative symbols in the first stanza, right? So these now, the poet now turns these symbols into something positive and which again reflects the poet's mood, which has transformed from negative to positive. And how has this transformed? This has been transformed by the action of the crow sitting in the branch of the hemlock tree, shaking the branch and causing the dust of snow to fall on his body. Okay. Now, as I told you that generally hemlock tree and crow are used for negative references, but the poet has used them beautifully 
to portray the fact that even inauspicious, even the things which we consider as inauspicious can bring joy and happiness. So one should not believe in these things. I mean, everything in nature. So here nature is acting as a healer. Because both all of these symbols, nature symbols like the tree, the, the hemlock tree, the crow and the dust of snow. These are all nature, the symbols, elements of nature, right? They are causing a positive transformation in the mood of the poet, bringing him happiness. So this poem is also giving us the message that even a small thing in our life, small occurrence in our life, for example, this was a very trivial occurrence, right? Crow uh, shaking down the branch of the tree and, uh, you know, that snow falling on the poet. So if uh, even this small incident can bring about a very impactful and, uh, you know, positive change in your mood, it can uplift your mood just as it uplifted the poet's mood. So, and also, we should not consider anything in nature as negative. So, nothing is positive and negative. Everything depends on our outlook, how we see it. It's your mindset. So, if the poet would have seen the crow as something which would be, which would, uh, which was inauspicious, which was supposed to be driven away, if he had shooed the crow away, then this positive change in his mood had not, uh, would not have happened, right? So this action of the crow and the hemlock tree together saved the poet's day from being, uh, you know, from being uh, disturbed in, you know, sadness or regret, right? So that's the entire poem. I hope you've understood the poem. Very easy poem, very short poem, but also very deep, has deep message for us. Right. So what are those mess uh, what are those elements that we can take from this poem? First element is, you know, um, nature as a healer. OK, then nothing is positive in nature. Sorry, nothing is negative in nature. All right. OK. Everything depends on our outlook. So what is important is we should have an optimistic outlook or mindset. And this reminds me of Milton's quote saying, um, um, our mind is a place which makes a heaven of a hell and hell of heaven. This is by Milton, John Milton, okay, which definitely talks about having an optimistic outlook towards everything. Everything depends on your mindset, right? Another important message is even small things, even trivial or small things can bring impactful change in our lives. It can cause an upliftment of our mood. So we can find solace in nature which acts as a healer right so these few points if you remember these few points you've understood the entire poem all right very easy poem and a very beautiful and heart touching poem and uh, these are the most important word meaning that you need to remember from here is rude okay rude is held in regret so long the poet was regretting that he had wasted a part of his day because of his sorrowful mood. But this action, this entire process caused him, I mean, it, it saved him. It saved his day to be wasted from regret. Okay. So with this, guys, we would be moving ahead with the literary devices. Okay. Now, alliteration has given my heart. So, H, H, 
द साउंड ऑफ एच बींग रिपीटेड ठीक है क्या हो गया एक सेकेंड तो एच साउंड रेपिटेशन ऑफ सॉरी क्या बोल एच साउंड गेटिंग रिपीटेड रेपिटेशन ऑफ द कॉन्सिडेंट साउंड इन द इनिशियल सिलेबल एंड देन एंड सेव सम पार्ट सो हियर राइट एच साउंड बींग रिपीटेड नेक्स्ट इज शुक डाउन ऑन मी द ओ साउंड इज वेरी वेरी प्रोमिनेंट सो एज ओ ने राइम स्कीम इज ए बी ए बी सी डी सी डी दिस इज द राइम स्कीम एंड एनजामेंट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट लिटरी डिवाइस ओवर योर यू कैन सी थ्रू आउट द फोम देर इज नो पंक्चुएशन ओनली एट द एंड द सेम फ्लो ऑफ थॉट आई राइट गाइज सो नाउ बिफोर मूविंग अ हेड विद द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गाइज इज अबाउट वोट सो आई होप यू आर अवेयर ऑफ वोट Vote is a Vedantu online talent exam, which is starting from 28th March to 18th April. This is not just a simple exam. This is a comeback. 2020 was a major setback in the process of education with the striking of the pandemic. The schools shifted into online mode, but they were not ready. So that is why it hampered the entire process and the major setback. Uh, that uh, you know the. Uh, who had to see the major setback because of this it is you guys who have suffered right so we have pledged to uh, bring back your entire process of education so we have pledged for your comeback and the comeback moment starts now with vote you can appear for vedantu talent uh, online talent exam on these four days guys and this is an all india level live exam absolutely free of cost so you don't have to pay anything and exams would be on 28th march 4th april 11th april 18th april at 3 pm this appearing for this exam is going to give you a total comeback how this is going to check your in depth performance analysis with all india rank which is going to be very important and very beneficial for your future guaranteed scholarship so you could win a uh, you could stand the chance to win guaranteed scholarship from pool of over 500 crore plus you have daily challenges to win exciting prizes worth 1 crore also you get to be vedantu ceo for a day and you can you may also win a trip to nasa so you can make a comeback with vedantu online talent exam where your in in depth performance would be analyzed by giving you an all india rank subject wise rank state wise rank also question level analysis right you can make a comeback with vedantu online talent exam by and also win exciting prizes you can stand the chance to win all expenses paid educational trip to nasa win exciting prizes like online i mean like drones tele telescopes okay laptops and also stand a chance to be the ceo of vedantu which is india's leading live online learning platform where you can share ideas to change the way millions of students learn online so guys also you could collect v V coins and earn daily prizes. Win daily prizes. Now you can get 35 V coins by attempting all the quiz questions in a session, plus additional 15 V coins for answering all the quiz questions correctly. Right? So, guys, if you want to know more about vote, you can wait till the end of the class, and uh, or you can download this Vedantu app. Visit the link. All right. So here you go. you are now ready to make a comeback so all set guys go and register yourselves for vote the registration is absolutely free so what you need to do is you need to get a voter i card right so you can register and create your voter i card and then you have to choose your vote days the days when you want to give your exam and you are all set to appear for uh, your vote exam and be prepared for a great comeback all right so main prizes and daily weekly challenges that you can avail 
uh, appearing for the board exam. Okay, so starting on 28th March, continuing till 18th April. So all the best guys. But, so now we would be resuming with the session. But yes, of course, the exam format, which I forgot to mention, exam pattern is you would have MAT, that is mental aptitude test. There would be 40 questions. Each correct answer would be giving you four marks and each incorrect answer would be subtracting one mark, right? You have total 60 minutes, that is one hour, that's your duration. And also one more thing is making squad. You can, you know, win big with making your own squad. You can create your own squad. And that is going to be really, really super exciting for all of you. Okay, so now we come to the theme of the poem, which I have already talked about. Communication between nature and humans. I have already talked about how nature serves as a, um, you know, uh, as a healer, right? Nature healing and helping with negative human emotions, which I also explained. The significance of small natural elements, the four or five points which I had written down for you, okay? Now, we come to use of nature in dust of snow. Very, very important question. Very important concept that you have to understand over here. Now, dust of snow expresses man's passion for nature or man's, you know, communion with nature. Okay, man's bonding with nature. Nature acting as a healer for man, right? And nature acts as a healing power when a man finds himself in distress, just as the poet was in a sorrowful mood, which we have already seen from the, at the beginning of the poem. Nature is a pleasant thing and an appreciate, appreciating ground during mental stress. So whenever you feel stressed out, try and, uh, you know, uh, try and go close to nature. Okay, you will find peace, you will find tranquility, you will find a relief from your mental stress. The poet personifies a tree into man's best friend, definitely. And a crow is a weird bird. It is, you know, regarded as an inauspicious bird. Okay, but here it is a beauty of nature because it is causing the poet, uh, poets, uplift, it's uplifting the poet's mood. So it is rejuvenating. All right. So snow dusting from a tree frustrates the poet but overpowers as a simple nature. So here it is not, uh, it is definitely acting as a healer. Okay. And this is a symbol of joy. The dust of snow is symbol of joy. Okay, now we come to the significance of title. The whole poet is connected with the fall of snow, right? So the title is dust of snow, which means particle of snow, which falls from a hemlock tree. So definitely, this is a very justified and absolutely connected with the, entwined with the theme. Okay, now I have already discussed with uh, you the theme. So definitely you could add from there. Now we come into the question and answers right so the first multiple choice question is from this uh, entire poem okay what uplifted the poet's mood hemlock tree falling of snow on his shoulder the crow all of the above falling of snow on his shoulder this was the reason for the poet's upliftment of mood this was caused by the hemlock tree and the crow but when you're asked what uplifted the poet's mood it is definitely the falling of the snow Okay, because this was finally what uplifted the mood was the dust of snow, right? But it was caused by both. Okay, so it would be hemlock tree. Uh, sorry, it would be falling off the snow on his shoulder. Next, name the poetic device used in the line has given my heart. I have already taught you this. So this is H, H repeated. So definitely it is going to be alliteration. All right. And then we have the last question. What does dust of snow represent? Healing power of nature, particles of snow, cool weather, none of the above. So it would be healing power of nature because the question here is represent, not meaning. It's not asking you the meaning. It is asking you the, uh, uh, you know, symbol. 
what does it symbolize what does it represent so please be careful in these kinds of questions okay most of you might be you know uh, ticking b as the correct answer but b is the meaning of dust of snow it's not asking you the literal meaning it's asking you the metaphorical layer okay so please be careful and now tell me how many of you have got all the three answers correct give me a quick high five okay so guys now we would be entering into the subjective questions but before that i want to ask you whether you are enjoying the session okay so if you want to gain further knowledge with us and score 100% marks what you need to do is just visit the link in the description box and pinned comment and you could avail unlimited classes with fun and high level quizzes and you get a lot of exposure where you can compete with the students throughout the world plus the interact the replays which you watch they are also interactive you get live quizzes after each question uh, fastest fingers list is going to appear where you can see your real time performance which is going to give you the competitive feel prepare you for the competitive exams that you're going to appear for very soon plus at the end of each session you're going to have the leaderboard giving you the overall class rank and earn points and the feature of live quiz and leaderboard you can find even when you are watching the replays which is something super duper amazing then you can download the notes at the end of each session plus you can have all your doubts solved with the help of our class teachers who would be uh, there with you throughout the session catering to each and every doubt that you raise in the question answer panel or the doubt section which you have okay again you have assignments at the end of each session so you can also have quality test we will take quality test we give you the performance report where the complete analysis of your performance is possible so you get to know where you stand you get to know and work on your shortcomings and weaknesses and get to know your strong points right plus the chapter wise courses are going to make you fill up the gap that may arise during the entire process of education and the crash courses would help you to revise the revise thoroughly your entire syllabus so that is going to boost your confidence up prepare you for your competitive because for your competitive exams for whatever exams you are going to appear for and guys this is absolutely for at a very 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 reasonable amount you just need to click on the link and use the coupon code swre pro this is for session 2021 pro price is 1500 but the moment you apply the coupon code it's going to be only at 1200 and guys this is bringing down the price to 6 rupees per class that is very 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 affordable talking about the next session that is 2022 the full year academic plan is only at 31104 that is 12.96 for the full year guys per class 12.96 only and here it's 13.2 per month so you can definitely opt for any one so this is definitely cheaper than a packet of uh, chips okay so go ahead and join us as a part of vedantu family okay so now we would be uh, starting with the subjective questions two mark questions how did the crow change the poet's mood very very easy the poet was in a sad and depressing mood the crow okay so crow is initially used to represent the poets gloomy mood okay so the poem begins by portraying a gloomy atmosphere and that is why this is crow is used in the first stanza now the simple action of the crow changed the mood the sorrow was washed away by the light shower of the dust which was caused by the action of the crow which is otherwise regarded as a symbol of ill omen please use this i mean please um, incorporate this symbolic meaning okay that this is usually considered as a bird which is inauspicious right but this negative symbol got transformed into a symbol of hope since his spirit was revived and he got ready to utilize the rest of the day so this point and this point these are the very 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 vital points which you need to incorporate in this answer third uh, sorry second question for 3 marks 
The poet was sad and depressed, but one comical incident lifts his spirit. He is full of joy and happiness. Based on your reading, you have to write a paragraph. Happiness is relative. So this is completely on your creative skills, guys. So you have to give your heading first. Happiness is relative. That should be your heading. Okay, I forgot to mention here. So I'm writing it over here. Now, happiness is a state of mind. Okay, it's just a passing phase. And you can also say, when you're saying that happiness is a state of mind, you can quote Milton. It would be a very repeating, I mean, it would be a very suitable quote for this particular answer, right? Which I have already talked about, okay? So you can quote Milton or just summarize his words by saying that Milton said, uh, you know, Happiness is a state. I mean, Milton said that, you know, mind is a place which could make a hell of a heaven or a heaven of a hell, right? So, uh, this in most circumstances, what happens are uh, happiness is decided by certain moments in our life. Now, some uh, light moments can really uh, enliven our mood. For example, in this poem, just a simple and insignificant action of a crow brought about a positive transformation. We must realize that on every cloud, there's a symbol, uh, silver lining, meaning that every sorrowful moment is followed by periods of joy and happiness. All right. Last question is for five marks. Simple moment proves to be very significant. So this is basically uh, a theme based question. Where, which I have already discussed. So let us quickly go through the answer. The poem conveys a simple, uh, even a simple moment has a large significance. Now the poet has mentioned crow and hemlock tree. Crow signifies the depressive and sorrowful mood, right? And the hemlock tree is also a poisonous tree. So definitely it's, it begins with a gloomy atmosphere. Both these signify that the poet was not in a good mood. And so he describes the dark, depressive and bitter side of nature. Okay. The poet said that he was in definitely dark and depressive mood, but what happened? He transformed this very symbol into positive uh, and a symbol bringing joy, okay? Uh, just because it caused the small particles of, uh, you know, uh, snow to fall on his body. He realized that he had just wasted a part of his day, but the change in his mood made him realize that he should utilize the remaining part of his day, okay? So his sorrow was completely washed away. He was rejuvenated. His spirit was revived and he got ready to utilize the rest of his day in happiness, in joy. So that was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the session. And now you have to analyze Dust of Snow as a romantic poem. For this, you may take the help of Umang series where I discussed the features of romanticism. So basically, you have, talk, you have to talk, talk about features of Romanticism, which I have discussed in the Umang series in detail. Okay, so take help from there. And then, you know, I have actually discussed the poem also as a romantic uh, poem, right? So please take help from there and do attempt this question in your, uh, in the comment section. I would love to listen to your answers. Okay. So thank you till then. Bye-bye. Take care. And don't forget to register yourselves for vote. It is absolutely free, guys. It's a great comeback. It is going to help you a lot. And also you could win various exciting prizes, right? And uh, don't forget to visit the link in the description box and pinned comment. Use the coupon code SWREPRO. And also if you have watched, uh, if you have liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button, share the video amongst your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you everyone. Bye and take care.